Hello and welcome to my Matchbox uh, YouTube channel uh, once again. Um, so it's been a while to, to post a video but um, we've been um, sorting out a lot of previews uh, for the collection. As you may know um, the sale starts in four weeks time so it's getting all very exciting. Um, all the models um, are at Vectis uh, as we speak. Uh, but what I've done, um, I've taken some pre previews to put on our own website, um, Rockatron Toys. So what I wanted to do is just, just quickly talk you through um, the previews. Okay, I, I won't go into great detail. Um, you know, m most of you will know um, everything about these. Um, but it, again, it's, it's, an, it's an insight to my own personal collection. And as I say, particularly with the one to 75s, uh, it was about you know getting every uh, number one to 75 picture box regular wheel all the way through to super fast and what my collection shows is just the progression of artwork and models as we go through now my collection starts with um, the number one uh, roll roller as you see here uh, we've got the the one C uh, I start at the one C because um, you've got the uh, D type picture box there is obviously uh, for the uh, for the Moco collectors, a 1A and a 1B, uh, but I say mine mine is focused on the on the picture box, and that's purely because of this wonderful artwork. So 1C uh, roller, and then it developed into the 1D uh, roller. Similar sort of thing, okay. But they went from metal wheels to plastic wheels, okay. They lightened the colour and changed the box design as well. So you've gone from a D box um, to an E box there. So not too much to be said about that because there's only sort of two variations really no real variations on the boxes a couple of very minor variations on the D box uh, haven't seen any variations on the uh, on the E box the E box is actually quite hard to find uh, and if we just pop back okay so then we move on from the number one roller up to the number one Mercedes truck um, so as you can see from the earlier picture on the uh, the one roller, um, we start with a, an E style box, exactly the same as the one D roller, okay, and it progresses um, from from the E box to the F. There's a couple of variations there. Uh, th these are E4 boxes, okay, which have pictured end flaps. Uh, and basic variation there. This one has uh, the, the new model text. This one is without new. And I tried to incorporate in that in, into the collection as much as I could. And then we then we move on to the F box, which is very distinctive due to the the straight matchbox artwork at the top rather than the curve. So you can see the progression there from sort of uh, the late 60s. Uh, so you know with with the E boxes, which came out in sort of 67, 68. Okay and they developed it to the F box which was sort of late 68, 69 and was sort of phased out around 1970 with the super fast era okay uh, and, and you'll see some a model variation this one in particular is a, is a pre-production model and as I've said you know I've tried to put uh, as many pre-production models as I could it, ideally uh, it would have been would have been really good to have like a pre-production model of ev every model but trust me that that's that's virtually um, impossible um, so pre-production there up until the last series uh, Mercedes there's one or two casting variations which are, which I won't go into uh, but notably there we go from orange canopies into um, uh, yellow canopies there uh, okay then if we just pop back here okay then we go on to the super fast uh, trucks now um, what always fascinated me was um, you know the box artwork and a lot of you could be thinking well hang on a minute we skimp we skipped from um, an, uh, an F box straight into a G now some super fast models came with an F but with an F box in fact there was there was actually 27 and then there's a few there's a few variations of that um, so uh, you only had the G box available uh, for the Mercedes truck. Now again, there'll be people out there that think, "Well, hang on, Graham, you've only got three versions of the Mercedes truck. There's 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 a lot more than that." And you're right, there is, but they have twin pack issues. And funny enough, um, although I've got an extensive picture box um, uh, collection, I never went for the twin packs. And, and the reason I didn't do that is because 
they were a generic packaging and and it's a bit like hang packs uh, I'm, I'm not I'm never a fan of that i've always liked the actual individual boxes themselves and plus with that uh, you can uh, uh, take them out of the box play with it and put the model back in a sealed twin pack or a hang pack you can't do that so that's the child in me um so so really um the the only model released in the g box was the the gold mercedes truck uh, as you see, there are a couple of basic variations uh, with a five-spoke and a four-spoke wheel. Particularly like the five-spoke wheel, because as you can see there, it matches the box artwork. And as you know, I'm all about the artwork. This is a very interesting piece, okay? Um, was released around the Twin Pack issue time. It was a promotional model for Porter Paints, an American uh, paint company. Very, very, very rare item. I just put that one in the collection because it wasn't a twin pack issue. It was it was a promotional. And again, I like promotional models. I like pre-production models and color trials. And I've color trials, and I've always tried to include those uh, where I can. Um, so that really covers that. Um, no real variations on the boxes um, with the G box. Uh, Possibly a minor variation because you get a with and without TM mark. And on the end flap here, you see this, this new model here. All my boxes show the new model. Uh, I've not seen it without that new text. Um, if it exists, then please email me, contact me. Uh, because um, although I'm selling my collection, I'm still very much on the cusp of Matchbox toys and still show a very keen interest. Okay, so we go from the 1E... Mercedes truck up until uh, uh, into the uh, the one F as we call it, which is the the mod rod. Um, quite a funky little variation. Um, I'm quite fond of this actually. Um, I actually had this as a kid. I actually had it with the red wheels. Uh, it's the only model that Matchbox did with the um, the red wheels, apart from the odd you know uh, prototype here and there. Um, but it, it's just a model I like. It, it's just one of those freaky models that that Matchbox did sort of early, um, sort of late 70, early 71. And as you can see there, one or two variations, mainly the bonnet labels, okay, where you get, you know, the cat, the cat label, there's two formats of that, uh, the Scorpion label. There's one or two uh, color interiors, red interior, orange interior. And this one here, I don't consider it a pre-production. It's more of a try, it's a very early issue with a, with a, with a blue engine and the, and the six label from the, from the GT40, that's quite funky. Um, um, H and I type boxes, uh, the H boxes really identifiable by the super fast uh, flash here and the I box doesn't have the super fast flash and it doesn't have the red uh, wheel which the which the H boxes has you can see here. A couple of variations on the H box you've got with new and you've got without new okay and on the I box I haven't seen a variation although I've got a couple of I boxes I haven't seen a variation on the I box possibly there's a not recommended for children um, uh, text box out there again I, I haven't seen it if you've got one then please let me know because it would be nice to have a definitive guide and the last one I'm going to talk about today is the uh, the Dodge Challenger and here we go fantastic muscle car and if you know me, I love my muscle cars. You know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a petrol head. Uh, American muscle cars, British Fords, I, lo I love all that. Uh, so that, that's, 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 a, that's a pretty cool model. Um, this is the, the, the J-type box, okay? Two variations with and without the new, and I've always tried to collect that. Two basic model variations, the red body and the blue bo body. Uh, and then it morphed into um, uh, the 1H, which is the Revving Rebel, which is it's a similar casting, okay? It's obviously based on the Dodge Challenger, uh, but this then came in the, the um, L box. There's no K box in between. And again, Matchbox um, is all over the place as far as uh, uh, box issues are concerned. You know, some models were released in certain boxes and some weren't as simple as that. Again, you could say, well, look, you've only got two Dodge Challenger that Yes, you're correct, but there's only two box types. There are variations of these models, okay? You get different color interiors. You get white interiors, red interiors, uh, that sort of thing. There's one or two wheel variations as well. But that really, for me, um, covered the bases. Um, so that's it on the on the number one. Um, number two we'll do uh, at another time, uh, perhaps later today. And as you can see, that starts with the uh, the, the, the number two site dumper. Okay. Um, this is my um, obviously website, which you which you're all familiar with. The the, the sale is going through uh, Vectis Auctions. Um, 
email me. I've sent out previews today. Just email me any questions. Please, please speak to me. I'm, I'm, here, to, I'm here for that. And uh, I shall speak to you very soon. Goodbye.